Hi, my little mathematicians. It's Mrs. Seawald coming to you to talk a little about math today for a change. I know we're coming to the end of the chapter, chapter six, and we have been talking about tens and ones and place value. Um, you know what? I have this bag of candy here. And I want to count it out, but I want to make groups of 10 first. So I'm going to do it. I'm not going to count out the whole bag because there's a lot, a lot. But if I made a group of 10, I'm going to make two groups of 10, okay? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's one group of 10 right here. I'm going to put it right aside. I'm going to make another group of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, I'm going to get some red and white ones. Eight, nine, 10. So I made two groups of 10 here. 10, 10. So far, how many do we have? Say it to me, even though I can't hear you. Let's count by tens. 10, 20. So I have two groups of 10 which makes 20 in all. But now I have some left over, but I don't have enough. I do have enough, but I'm trying to do this quickly. I can't make another group of 10, so I have a few ones. So let's see how many ones I have left. Ooh, let's see. I have one, two, three, four. So now I've got two groups of 10. One, Two, four ones, whoa, one, two, three, four. So how many do I have? I have a two digit number, two digit amount, two tens and four ones make, ta-da, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I have 24 pieces of candy. Now that we call place value. When we talk about tens and ones, we talk about place value. So the number 24 has the two in the first spot and the four in the second spot. So that tells us that we have two sets of 10 and four ones. Let's think back at Mr. Lizard. I miss Mr. Lizard and Mrs. Lizard, don't you? I know, we had a great day with their wedding. But anyway, every day, every morning during our morning meeting, I would ask you about how many days of school we've been here. And when we got to the two digits, I would say to you guys, how many groups of 10 and how many ones? And you would look at that very first digit. So let's say we were at 34 days in school. I wish we were back then. I miss those days. But anyway, 34 days of school. I'm going to write that number. 34. So let's do some place value. The first number shows us how many tens. So how many groups of 10 and 34? There are three groups of 10. How many ones? There are four ones in the second place. Shows you how many ones. Okay. So. We show this, and you've been doing this with your classwork, go math, and your homework, go math. We show it by drawing quick tens and quick ones. That's a different version of just writing the number like 34 or 35 or 44. So if I asked you to write or draw some quick tens for the number 35, quick tens are simply drawn by using straight lines. We pretend that that straight line has 10 individual ones in it. But rather than drawing a group of 10 and another group of 10, we draw a quick 10. So in 34, I would draw three quick 10s. One, two, three. And I would draw, how many ones? You're right, four ones. Four ones. One, two, three. Four. And the way we do that is, for quick ones, we simply do either little squares or little round counters. So now we showed 34 with three quick tens, meaning there's three tens in 34 right there. 
and four ones. So what is three tens equal to? You're right, it's equal to 30. And what are four ones just equal to? One, two, three, four. They're equal, four ones are equal to four. So now we wrote it in another way. We said three tens and four quick ones is the same as saying 30 plus four equals 34. Let's do another one. Okay. 62. I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six quick tens. And I'm going to draw two quick ones, two counters. So now I've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, six quick tens, and two ones, one, two, which is the same as saying 60, because that's my six tens plus two equals 62. So there I've shown it all sorts of ways. Last one, let's do 47. How many quick tens should I draw? Oh, you're so smart. Four quick tens, one, two, three, four. How many quick ones? You said seven, you are absolutely right. One, two, three, four five, six, seven. How much is four quick tens equal to? Well, 10, 20, 30, 40. 40. How much is six ones equal to? Well, six ones is just six. So now we've got 40 plus six equals 46. You just completed an amazing lesson on place value. And you did an amazing job of answering my questions. Now, quickly, before I go, because we're going to be meeting as well on this, but I want to show you the hundreds chart, which I know you've been using. The hundreds chart kind of replaces now your number line that used to be on your desk. Because now your number line only used to go up to 20, and now we go up to actually 100, but we could actually go up to 120 and you'll be seeing that your hundreds chart will go up to 120 soon if it hasn't already. So if we want to add 10 to a number, we simply go straight down the row. So if I were to start at 10 and I wanted to add 10 more to each number or same as saying count by tens, I would just go straight down and I highlighted 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now I could do the same and start at any number. I want to start at six and count by tens. Well, I just look for my six and I go straight down my hundreds chart and I say six, 16, 26, 36, 46, and so on and so forth. I'm going to ask you, can you start with 33? and add 10 to each number or count by tens from 33. Well, I'm gonna find 33. I'm highlighting straight down my hundreds chart and I see I can count 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, 83, 93. So this is a great way to skip count. And we're just gonna do tens today, but you could use it to skip count by twos, skip count by fives and so on and so forth. And this will be your new number line because now you can add and subtract bigger numbers. Just start at the number that you start with and either count up if you're adding to the bigger numbers, count backwards if you're subtracting. So this is your new number line. Okay, well, I look forward to doing more math with you and I hope you're well and I miss you and keep coming on to Google Classroom. Keep doing what you're doing. I miss you guys. I love you and I'm still hoping I see you by the end of the year. We'll talk soon. Bye and have fun with math.